welcome to another Chloe vlog. Today just a quick few things to uh, run through. First things first, here at Clove we've been running an Androidify competition whereby you can create your own Android character using the Androidify application or uh, if you don't have an Android phone we're uh, allowing you to Photoshop or edit uh, Android characters to create one that reflects your personality or simply uh, one of your wildest imaginations. All you simply need to do uh, is follow the details in the link below uh, and uh, email across your Androidify character. You can enter up to four for a chance of winning um, an HTC Incredible S that we're giving away uh, to the best Androidify character that's entered. That closes at the end of the month, so uh, get your entries in uh, now if you haven't already done so to stand a chance of winning uh, that HTC Incredible S. So in the news this week, Volvo have announced um, a new feature to their 2012 vehicles called OnCall Crash Alert. It's essentially an optional system that uh, continually tracks your GPS location and detects uh, sensors within your car uh, to notify a response team if your vehicle should be involved in an accident. And if an airbag is triggered, they will send emergency services to you based on your location given. It uses a 3G uh, SIM module that's inbuilt into the system and you have a subscription for five years for £325 for this system. There's also an SOS uh, button which allows you to call direct uh, to the uh, Volvo representatives that are, that are manning uh, the system. But the really innovative feature about this and why it's applicable to us is that Volvo have developed an application to go on the iPhone and Android devices whereby you can utilize this system and track your vehicle at any time. You can also uh, feed into the onboard computer, see your oil levels, your brake fluid levels, the bulb conditions. You can see how much fuel you've got. You can see where the last 40 trips uh, were taken. It's a really interesting and innovative way of um, getting more people on board to use certain uh, things within the, in the Volvo range. Um, I'm not saying everyone's going to suddenly jump to it because you can now control things with your smartphone, but having the ability to log into your car's computer system from wherever you are in the world and see what's actually going on. I mean, for example, you can actually check whether the doors are locked and if they are unlocked, lock them, set off the alarm. Uh, it's a fantastic thing and uh, it shows how mobile technology and in-car technology are beginning to come together. And when we've seen things like Saab and HTC uh, looking at the new automotive direction for mobile computing, uh, Volvo are starting to demonstrate how some of that uh, is actually coming together already and over the next few years we should see more and more developments uh, on that front. So another thing out this week is an application from ITV, it's their ITV player. Essentially they're equivalent to the BBC iPlayer. It allows you to stream um, content from the ITV player site, uh, things that you might have missed on ITV. The application is available for any Android device running 2.2 or higher and that's definitely going to be uh, in competition with BBC's iPlayer. I think iPlayer probably is going to uh, succeed more because of the exposure the BBC gets and the, the name that the iPlayer has out there but ITV Player um, was a necessary addition to the Android marketplace and certainly should help um, ITV get some more exposure that way. So. Uh, we're currently testing uh, those out and uh, it seems to be quite a good application so far but time will tell whether it will sort of uh, take on iPlayer and how uh, BBC will react uh, to try and you know differentiate their service from ITV. So the HTC Sensation has arrived into stock today the equivalent to the Samsung Galaxy S2 from HTC it's got a dual core uh, processor it's got a large uh, super LCD screen it's got an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash. That's one of the benefits of the sensation over the Galaxy S2. It has a dual LED flash and not a single LED flash. Um, it's got the new and improved HTC Sense interface. You've got the HTC build quality. I don't need to run through all these features, but it's going to certainly take on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2. And... Uh, 
be uh, be up against it, shall we say. So the HTC Sensation has arrived into stock today. This is HTC's new flagship uh, smartphone. It will compete most directly with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Both devices have large touch screens, both have dual core processors, uh, both have a lot of onboard memory, both have a similar design, both have an 8 megapixel camera, the Sensation does have dual LED flash. One of the nice features about the HTC, it does of course have HTC Sense interface. Now whilst the Galaxy S2 has Samsung's TouchWiz interface, I think it's uh, fair to say that the HTC Sense sense interface is better than Samsung's TouchWiz from a customization point of view but if you perhaps want a pure Android view then maybe the Galaxy S2 offers you benefits. The sensation feels quite nice in the hand. It's a bit more curvy than the Galaxy S2 but uh, when in the hand it actually feels a little bit bigger uh, but they are comparable in size um, between between the two devices. So. I don't need to run through the full tech specs and the, the differences bet between those two devices for you but the sensation is here now and uh, I'm sure we'll see quite a few heads to heads uh, in reviews and what have you between those two devices because they are so similar. Also in the news this week we've had news from HP who bought out Palm. If you remember the uh, original Palm Pre, well HP have now evolved this, taken on the, the Palm uh, range and develop this into the Pre 3 and the touchpad. Both are WebOS uh, devices. WebOS was developed originally by Palm but is now branded as HP WebOS. So the Pre 3 is an evolution of the original Palm Pre and the Palm Pre 2, keeping a similar form factor and design but of course improved WebOS. Uh, upgrades to the operating system, the, the hardware and what have you. And the touchpad is the first webOS tablet. Now the uh, touchpad, the 16 gig version is going to come in at approximately £399 including VAT whilst a 32 gig version will come in at 479 Both the touchpad and the Pre 3 will be here uh, during uh, July. So they're both running the same operating system just on different screens and that's uh, one of the great features about this operating system um, is the fact that if you owned a Pre 3 and a touchpad they work sort of in harmony, a bit like Android devices do, they keep in sync with each other um, but one of the really cool features, well it appears cool, whether it's uh, that good on a daily basis is the fact that you can touch the two together and if you're viewing a web page on your touchpad it will, uh, once touched to the Pre 3, will transfer that information to the Pre 3 and the web page you are viewing on your touchpad now comes up on your Pre 3. Now the WebOS is a very intuitive and powerful operating system and the reason it hasn't had much success to date is simply because of the lack of exposure. Palm didn't do a great job out there and up against Android as it was first coming out. So it'd be interesting to see uh, these devices, how they're accepted across the market. I think it will be a slow take up on them um, and at the price points. They do encourage people to adopt them but uh, probably not at the rate we'd expect. If HP wanted massive penetration they should have dropped the prices a little bit more. But we'll see a lot of marketing now from HP as they have the clout whereas Palm didn't. And also HP will be rolling out the WebOS system on all of their devices. Uh, in some shape or form, so on the laptops and computers you will see WebOS so in time WebOS will make um, massive gains in terms of market share across the platforms and uh, it will be a really interesting development in 12 months time we could be looking at WebOS as the biggest operating system instead of Android I'm not so sure that will be the case but there, are, there is the potential for that so that's some of the latest news and uh, things that have been happening um, at the moment, so be sure to check back soon for more information. Thanks for watching.